this is Ruth and today I have a brand new die set one of the Tonic Studios birthday releases and it's called the Big Top Carousel Gift Box die set and it's absolutely fantastic there are 44 different dies in this set I've just got it, I haven't even attempted to make it yet but in a moment or two I'm going to sort out some paper and some card to go along with this and I'll be right back and we'll have a go all the instructions are in the inside of the packet for this one so you'll notice right away that there is actually a lot of die cutting but don't worry the end result will be well worth it it's not a five minute project it will take you a while and if it's going to be for a special gift well you'll want to spend a little while just getting it right but these particular pieces there are four pieces on here uh, these make up the basic box and then we'll add some other pieces to it but you can see how I've placed these on. I have picked some 300 GSM Ivory Smooth card and these particular ones need cut 10 times so make sure you've got plenty of card ready before you start. It's going to take obviously 10 sheets of this before we go any further with the rest of it. So that placement seems to work well for me and um, just the way they are there. I'll tape them on and then I'll run that through and if I can keep these taped together I'll just be able to lift that off and then put it straight on to the next page and carry on. And then I will have some little pieces in here that I can use later on as well so I won't be wasting any of the card. So I'll tape these together first of all and then I'll go ahead and cut them. So this is what I meant by taping the pieces together because whenever I lift these off the page at the end the dies are actually still connected by that tape and I can place them straight on to the next card. So have a little look at that. I might actually just put a little piece on here as well. I've had all of these pieces cut out for a while but I had to go on to something else and now I'm back to it. But what you'll need is 10 of these, 10 of these, 10 of these and 5 of these just to start off with. So. I went ahead and made one little compartment up just so that I knew where I needed to put decorative pieces on because I thought before I go to the whole process of getting it made up and then adding the decorative pieces on that it's easier to lay them on whenever it's flat, to glue them on whenever this is laid flat actually. So we'll do this first, just put the, assemble these pieces and then I'll show you where the decorative panels go as well. So first of all we'll take two of these and just burnish the score lines as you go on all of these pieces, it always helps. So on this one you just want to add glue on these little tabs and then put these together and you'll just fold this one in below there and this one in below there and the most important thing to remember on this part is there's a little gap between those so don't be fooled into thinking those just join strictly and tightly together there. You'll want to just move that up so that these lines are in perfect line across the top and the bottom not together like that. We'll just set that aside for a moment or two and we'll move on to this little piece, so this is the one I have one already all folded and scored here as well so all you need to do again is burnish all the score lines but you will notice that whenever this is made up this is the one that I just checked out first of all that these little panels here are the ones that have the decorative detail on so that is this and this one and obviously then on all of those I think it's a lot easier to go ahead and add these little pieces on first. So I have taken out two little dies here. Now I'll just take them apart and show you. There are several different panels on this die set. So that there's the set itself again. And you can see here are different panels. So there's a scalloped one and um, a, a matching one there, like a postage stamp kind of effect. And this one for the little opener as well and then different ones that match in. So you could pick whatever you like. There's even one here that's got holly and uh, berries and things on it. So that would be a more Christmassy one. But just pick out whichever ones you're wanting to use. And 
you'll see then that you could have a plain colour. So I could put maybe say black or something on sorry on there and then you would need to use the two again and that will cut out the decorative detail. So you could put that on top of the panel. I'm going to skip out this one and just do the two together. So I have used both of these little panels, these little dies, and there they are whenever they're on that. So I will go ahead now and just add these on, cut out more of them and add them onto all of these panels before I make that up. So that is Scarlet Organza Satin Effect Mirror Card. That's really, really lovely with that ivory. And now I've got all of these on and I just need to make the little compartment up. So again, I'll just do this. And then we can go ahead and glue all these together. So you'll put glue on this tab and attach that on here and then on these two tabs and attach that on there and on this tab and glue that inside and then it all goes together and makes a lovely little compartment. When you've got all these little compartments ready, you'll want to move on to this stage. So take this die cut and make sure you've burnished all the score lines on that one as well. And then what you want to do is, you'll, there's a square there, just this piece, and you'll want to put glue on the back of that and attach it directly onto here, but only on this part, not on these pieces. Then you'll want to put glue on this tab and this tab and what you do is, we'll, we'll just do this one first. On the long length here you want to add this tab so you glue on there and add that on here. Glue on here and onto the back of there. And then you'll put glue on this part here of this tab and glue that onto the opposite end there. And when you've that done and the glue is dried then you'll just want to put glue on this tab and you'll notice it can't go down on the inside here so you'll just put glue up there and attach this over the top. Now you'll want to make the little compartments to put these inside. So we'll go back to these initial pieces that we put together. And what you need to do now then is put some glue along this end. Just like that and put that one in place. And then we'll do the same with the top. This isn't exactly what it says on the instructions but I find it works for me. So we'll attach glue along here and here. When that's dried you'll need this little piece because this makes a little kind not a hinge but a piece that holds the two together um, and it sort of covers the joins so fold that in half there and then just put glue down this half of it initially 
and you'll want to put that then onto the side here just like that right, I've gone ahead and I have two of them ready here just to show I have some pegs on them holding the glue together but I'll take that off and then we'll have a look so what you want to do then to make this little carousel is well what, what I do anyway is put some glue on here and then on the back of this and attach that and then we'll go ahead until we have the whole thing assembled so just put some glue in here and down here and then you'll attach that on here hold that together and get it nice and firmly attached and when you've got it on something flat it's very easy just to get it into the right position there and then push this over and I hold that in place with a little peg and then this tab then is ready once you've got the next compartment ready and you just go ahead until you have all of those ready that's the carousel base actually all finished now and all ready and I can put the little compartments in so there are ten of them as you know and what I have found works best for me anyhow is to glue them both together here so we'll just glue the base of one of them and add it on top of the one below and make sure that's perfectly aligned there like so and then you'll just want to put glue on these edges the base the top and these two sides and pop them in here like this that's all the little drawers in place now and I can go ahead and put the legs on so I'll just turn this upside down like that and then I've got five little leg parts cut out here and then I've taken this little die and I've cut that out in the scarlet again and Now we're ready for the roof. So I have got five of these pieces cut and then I've taken this triangular die. I've cut that out in gold and I've done that ten times because obviously I need one to go on each piece here. And then I've used the same die along with this patterned one and that one fit, sort of matches this one here. It fits inside there and it matches this and I've used both of those dies together to get this shape I'm going to glue that on there that on top of there and then you can see there's this little die for on here and I've looks like a little pair of sunglasses actually doesn't it I'm going to glue that on there and you know it's just the simple things but at this stage I was so happy just to see that there were two of those dies and not just one so I had to cut that out five times and not ten and I'll just put that on there and I'll go ahead glue that and then come back with the rest of it. I've got the other pieces already, I was just doing that one to show you.
You may have noticed I've actually just run out of my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. That's the one that I actually prefer to use on the finer details. But this is actually really, really good glue as well. It's a slightly thicker nozzle and slightly more viscous kind of glue. I would normally use this one for construction, but it's working really well for this anyhow, so I'll just carry on with it. I actually think I have more of the, the Deluxe Adhesive in my drawer, but I want, I want to just carry on with this and I don't want to, to stop. So now I'm going to add all these pieces together. Now whenever all that's stuck together, I'm just going to leave that for a moment or two to make sure all that glue is dry. But you want to just bend these little pieces out slightly, not too much, but so that they're not going straight down so that they don't go right over the top of the drawers. And then we've got these little pieces here. So there are should be 10 of these. And you just want to fold them in half like this. And I will be putting, let's move this over one on here and then this part will get glued one part will get glued to the back of this and the other part then will get glued onto the top here so that will then hold this on the whole way around That's all of those pieces on now and I can glue that and then put it onto the top but I just wanted to mention before I went any further that I had said I had cut five pieces of this and they were just going to go over the joins but I hadn't realised actually that they fit over every part of it so I've cut them to suit the whole way around there. I went ahead and did that with, with it uh, after it was off camera. So now all I have to do is add glue to all of these tabs and press that onto the top of this and leave it to dry. And there it is. And I've just measured it. It's a wee bit difficult to measure because of all these extra pieces and whatnot on it. But it looks to me like it's about 17 centimetres wide and that's coming out right out to here. And it looks about roughly 16 centimetres tall. So that's coming from here, from this point up to here. And doesn't that look really lovely? And just look how many different gifts you could put in there. It's so, so cute. Now, as I said, it's not something you're going to do in five minutes. You need to, you need to set some time aside. And actually what I did felt like a good idea. I cut out all the pieces and left them aside. I did that in one afternoon and then I came back and uh, put them all together and it really looks lovely. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll be back soon because I'm going to make the little carousel with the horses in it soon so I'll see you in a minute or two. I'm back and I'm going to make the little carousel this time with the horses inside and this could actually be used to set on top of the little one that I've just made with the, the um, drawers in it but I thought I would just make it a separate thing and put a little roof on this one as well and it could make a lovely little centrepiece for a party or a table or whatever. So I have used some, uh, this is golden mosaic card. Um, I'm not sure if that's still in stock or not but you may already have some. If not you might have some other nice golden card or coloured card yourself. Now this is one sided so I have folded everything inwards because when this is made up You'll want to have it all with that gold on the inside, just like that. So what I've done is I have glued those pieces together and I've actually added some double-sided sticky tape onto the back and just kept the backing on it just to keep that secure. Because I find this one here is a little bit harder to stick because the um, surface of this is a little bit slippery. Oh, I actually found my other glue so I can use it again now. And... I'm going to just do that and then I'll put some double sided glue across there as well, some double sided tape across there as well and then the same thing on here and I'll put that 
on like that. So depending on what card you're using you can work out whether you actually need this or not. It's really just to reinforce that and hold it a bit steadier because um, the slippery surface as I said. But anyhow, to go, I, I will eventually need to make five of these to join up and form the, the full carousel. But to put the horse inside here you'll need to cut out the horse and I have cut that out in white. And then I've cut the little saddle piece in red glitter card and I'm going to put that on here just like that and then I have a tiny tiny mane piece so here it is and I've just got that with tweezers and I'll add a little bit of glue on there and I have that in gold and that just goes on there That's going to look really nice because those colours show off against that. And then I have taken the piece for the bottom here. You're going to need to cut two of those. And then I see I haven't actually cut the second red piece, but there's a little piece here for decoration. And I've cut that out in red glitter card again, just to keep this all coordinated. And that will go on there. And then we have one for the top, and this is the one that I haven't got the piece cut for yet, but I will cut the glitter card for that just to put into the centre. And then I've picked out some of this, um, I think it's called candy cane, candy stripe, foiled card. That's available on the Tonic website as well. It's really, really beautiful. See the shine off it there? So I've cut that out and that's going to go in behind here. And I cut it on the diagonal so that it looks like it's uh, striped like a candy cane. I thought it may not just be firm enough, so I've cut out a white one as well. And I'm going to glue that onto the back of it, just to make sure it's sturdy. Obviously, when I say white, I've just cut out an extra one. It doesn't actually matter what colour that is. You're not going to see that, because that's on the back. Now, you'll want to glue this on here. So if you see where that semicircle is you'll glue the front of this on to that just behind that so just like this and just make sure it's right down to the bottom there you don't you don't want to make sure sorry you want to make sure <laughs> that it's right down to the bottom there and not up otherwise it will be just slightly too tall and that is not what you're looking for at all and then we'll put some glue on here and pop that one, same, same thing, on just right there. So you can see the way that is there and just make sure you've got that in the right place. Now obviously I will add this um, glitter card on in a moment or two. Fold back those little side tabs and you'll want then to put glue on the side tabs and the top and bottom ones. Now, I don't want this to slide all over that uh, gold card because as I said, it's quite slippery. So I'm just going to do one at a time. And you want to just slide that in there. And it goes back a little bit. So there's how it's fixed. And I'll just attach that there. So that's how it's fixed and then I can do the same with this one but I didn't want to do that until that one was grabbed otherwise I'd have glue slipping about all over that one. So I'll just add the glue on there and here and here and then we'll pop that in there as well and I'll not forget in a moment or two I will add some red glitter card onto that and have it matching the other side there. Now, back down here again and there you are. So that's what it looks like now. And then we can go ahead and glue the little hobby horse on in there.
Isn't that so cute? Now, I need to make five of those. So I'll be back in a minute or two when I have the other ones done. I've got all five compartments made now and I went ahead and assembled them in exactly the same way as I did for this little one with the drawers in it. And I made the base exactly the same way, I made the roof exactly the same way, except that I used the candy stripe card this time and that meant I didn't have to put extra panels on here because that's just beautiful as it is. But I did add the little pieces here on the glitter card um, and that matched in here. Now you may be sharp-eyed enough to notice that the horses now have a little gold tail. So I didn't actually realise when I was making that that there was a little tiny tiny little die there that does the horse's tail as well and I actually really just finished that off beautifully so um, I should have really noticed it in the first place. But that's my two little carousels finished. In fact when I say little they're not actually little at all they're quite a good size and I'm really really pleased with them so they're both here and um, I hope you've enjoyed that. I've put a lot of effort into making sure they're all nicely coordinated and looking well and I love how these little drawers open and you can put different things in them and well I've enjoyed it anyhow. If you've enjoyed it don't forget to give the video a little thumbs up and subscribe to the channel too if, you, if you'd like to do that and hit the notification bell because there are other launches for the birthday week coming up as well. I've also just finished another video for one of those and you'll be notified of all of that if you've hit that bell as well. So once again I will add my affiliate links to all of these products down below if any of you are interested and I do really appreciate everyone who buys through those. As you know I make a little commission off that but it won't cost you anything extra at all so you don't need to worry about that part. And I hope to see you soon. Enjoy your crafting in the meantime. Thank you. Bye bye.